field, the placement, the kick up, and this one is good. From 32 yards, the Jags get the first score, and it comes at the 7.05 mark in the first quarter here in San Marks from the shotgun. Handoff, keeper up the middle, faking it, and Jones untouched. On the zone read, we're leaving him unabated territory. Nobody's taking quarterback, and he burns us right up the middle to take the lead. Bobcats get this Robert Lowe off the right shoulder. They'll give it low left side into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas State. And the Bobcats are back in the end zone with 108 to go before halftime. The Jets. And Sharp, freshman to snap. McKee, the holder. Aleem from 53. The snap low. The kick is going to be short, well short. And this is returnable. Hauled in from two yards deep. Bringing it out to the 15 to the 20. Angling near side. He's got a hedge. He's across midfield up the near sideline. Remember kick six? It's just happened again. And they go into the end zone on a missed 53-yard field goal. And the decision to try the long one coming up very short. And there's a penalty marker down. That was brought out. But the handoff deep is to low. He's dancing inside defenders. Nobody can bring him down as he goes right up the heart and attacks our defensive front for six. The wide receiver fakes it. Going to go straight forward. And Vinson goes in untouched for the Jaguar touchdown. Touchdown South Alabama with 2.46 to go in the third, and the extra point would cut it. Direct snap, Gerald goes right side, breaks it to the boundary, going to the pylon, Gerald Everett, touchdown at the 10-15 mark, touchdown South Alabama. I want to congratulate Texas State. I thought they came out and played a, a very good football game. Um, ran the ball well, um, you know, threw it well when they needed to. Um, played scrappy defense, and so my hat's off to them for that. Secondly, I think obviously we made too many mistakes. Um, I don't know how many penalties we had, but it had been 10 offsides penalties on offense and way more than that. So probably up there in the 16 or 18, which we haven't had all year long. And it happened. And I'll take the blame for that. If, if you know, if uh, we're making mistakes out there, then it's my fault. So, um, you know, um, we need to do a better job coaching uh, our staff. Um, and um, we got to bounce back. You know, and I told them in there I'd, I had their back. And, um, you know, when something like this happens, you have a bad game, you got to make sure you man up and, and, um, and figure out the things you got going wrong. We're still kind of an inexperienced team. I know we all forgot about that, but uh, we're not, we had a lot of mistakes out there tonight, and we got to look at it and try to fix it. Uh, that's, a, that's a tough one right there, man. It, re it really is. Um, we beat them last year. You know, we were really confident going to that game, and, and I mean, like I said, we just got to go back to work. Um, coaches did a great job with the game plan. Coach Vincent did a heck of a job. Coach Pearson did a heck of a job. Coach Jones did a heck of a job. We just got to play, man. The pl players play and coaches coach. That's uh, that, that whole loss is on us as players, not as coaches at all. Well, you know, we're, we're all hurt. We're all bummed because, you know, we, we thought we could come out and play with them. And anything they showed us, it wasn't like we couldn't play with them. We, we shot ourselves in the foot a lot. We had a lot of penalties that cost us a lot of yards. And like I said, shot ourselves in the foot, and that's a tough loss, knowing that we should have won that game.